Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. Pisces, I have another love reading for you. Now, if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returner, why, welcome back, my friend. Okay. All right, so. Ooh, card's flying. So if this one doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check out the playlist. There is plenty of other ones in the playlist. I do have the ability to go really deep with these readings. So if this doesn't resonate, check that out. All right, so for you, there is the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. For your person, there's the Sun card, the World card, and the Ten of Cups. The overall card is the Hermit card. It's interesting. Okay. It just keeps getting more interesting. So with the Ten of Swords here is the Lover's card. So you feel like you had to walk away or there was something that you weren't too happy that you found out about? So with that Ace of Cups comes the Two of Pentacles, trying to keep things balanced, trying to keep your equilibrium. With this Eight of Cups comes the Seven of Pentacles. So you're working, you're trying to work through this. So your person here seems to be fairly happy compared to what's going on here. So there's a Sun card, World card, Word, I can't even talk, World card, and the Ten of Cups. So with the Sun card comes the, the Nine of Pentacles. So there's a lot of Pentacles here and love. So with the World card comes the Two of Swords. Some kind of stalemate here. Your person is wanting to move forward here with the love. So there's some, some kind of money situation here. Okay. So what I just heard is it's about, um, cause I'm a psychic medium and I, so I can get, that's why I was saying that the readings can go pretty deep. There's something about, um, divorce, child support, child, you know, care, stuff like that. Something with that. So with the tower card comes the high priestess. The guys are saying this needed to happen as far as like the tiff that you guys are going through. I feel like your person has a pr pretty good grip on the situation here, but it's, it's still debatable on if you're the one who has the children or the divorce or they do, but it seems like it would be more you with the cards that are being presented here. And of course, you know, each storyline can be slightly different depending on who's listening to it. So take that into account because this is a public reading as well. So here's the two of wands looking into the future. And then here's the judgment card. There's a lot of major arcana here. Yeah, some kind of judgment, looking into the future, wanting this judgment to come. And with the Queen of Cups comes the Four of Cups. Like maybe somebody was waiting a long time for a judgment to be done and it's kind of making it to where there's a separation between the two of you so with the hermit card for the overall is the three of swords now let's use a different deck here What is this about here, guides? That one flipped out. Despair. So tell me more about that. Yeah, this is just bringing both of you to your knees is what I'm hearing. Yeah, of course. This is a journey. 
Oh, okay. So what they're saying is one of you might have had to take a journey to rectify the situation so you guys are apart, whether, you know, down the street or, you know, a world away. These two flipped out together, death and someone who is ill. So, you know, obviously this could be a part of, you know, because this is a public reading, it could be something about children and divorce and then someone who is ill and death. So that could be something that's keeping you apart. You know, and this might be putting a financial strain on the two of you if you are together because of somebody having to go and take care of someone's death or take care of someone who is dying. And you know I'm nosy if you've been here before. So go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment box if you'd like about what your situation is. Is it the divorce and children? Or is it someone who is ill and dying? Or is it both? Yeah, it's like you guys are waiting for something to come fruit to fruition. You know, obviously since it has something to do with money, it could be, you know, an inheritance as well. Yeah, you guys are definitely in love, and I can feel that that's the case. You know, and here's doctor, so it's, you know, death, someone who's sick. So, it's definitely hard for the two of you to be apart. You know, and it might have caused, you know, somewhat of a tiff between the two of you because you, you can't be together right now. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if this is resonating with you, please make sure you give us a thumbs up because it goes out into YouTube land. And when the thumb goes up on those videos, the, you, the algorithm sends them out to other people who need to hear this healing message. So I appreciate that. Forgiving and learning. As you forgive and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, I just feel a lot of sadness here, a lot of separation due to family members. It says let go of control issues. Now, you know, this is of course hearkening to the, the temperance card knowing that this has to run its course that no matter you know what you would do to try to change it you, you don't have control of the situation so trying to force someone's hand to be like hey you need to come back or hey we need to do this it's just something that's beyond their control at this time and or yours yeah i think you know, you or them have been, both have been racking your brains. Like, how can we do this? How can we get back together? How can we make this work? Because when you guys are together, there's, there's so much excitement, joy, love, passion. Now guys, give me more information that will be useful to the listener. Okay. What might have separated you guys too is, you know, maybe the person who's going through this or having to take care of, you know, a lawsuit, inheritance, death, things of that nature, um, didn't really want to share it all with you. Or, you know, you didn't want to share it with them. You know, because it's like not wanting to be so burdensome and I think it made the other person feel unwanted or not a part of the scenario. I'm getting lots of things here. So if you're wanting a private reading on this, go ahead and check out the description box below and we can go more detail into your specific information because right now there's so much information that's coming in through this reading. You know, and here's, it's about fortune. You know, Obviously, there's money to be gained here, whatever that situation is, but it doesn't make it easy if it's, you know, somebody has to pass or someone has to lose.
not for everybody, but for some of you, there is a religious um, situation here as well. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like someone whom, if it, whether it's you or your person, there's some kind of mental detachment to it because they're, you know, it's like if they're going through all of this, they're kind of going back in time in their mental state and they're kind of being triggered by, you know, the ex or the death or being around family members or taking care of a sick family member. That's hard. That's definitely hard on people. All right, so they want to switch the old gears here. So what is it that we need to tell the watcher here, whether it's, you know, the Pisces or the cross watcher? Yeah, so you feel like you've been shut out. If you're the one who is waiting for this other person to come back from this situation, What does this mean, guide? New direction. Yeah, because I think it's wh whomever is waiting, It's they feel like it's taking too long. You know, of course, you can't rush someone passing. Or you can't rush legal proceedings. But, you know, it's like this, this sense of like, oh my God, I'm over it. You know, wondering if you should go into a new direction and reinvent yourself. Now, guys, what, what do you say about that? Okay, so what I'm hearing is there's a lot of impatience here. There's a lot of frustration, um, self-imposed uh, abandonment issues to where since this person, is, whoever is taking care of this situation, the other one feels like, they're not being considered or taken care of or even in a relationship. And so there's this, you know, maybe I should move on. You know, it's just this great amount of frustration for the person who's waiting for this other person to be done with this drama. Release. Tell me more about this. Okay. So this isn't release the person. This is about... You know, the person that's, you know, that's helping this person who's sick or dying or whatever. This is about you releasing, um, <laughs> and don't take this the wrong way, but they totally said this, hot air. And I've never seen this as that before. So release the hot air. You know, release the, <sighs> the, the mind <clears throat> that you're, the mind I can't swear. <laughs> you know, it's like you're screwing yourself up here. You've got all this stuff going on. Your person's got all this stuff going on, trying to take care of a sick one or trying to take care of a divorce or whatever it is. You know, and since it's kind of this, this is all over the place, you know, I don't know which one you are, but the person who's not involved and who's waiting, it needs to release the hot air that they're putting in their head. Like, oh my God, this is taking too long. La la la. And I know it's annoying. It's annoying when your person isn't there for you because they're doing something for someone else. You know, there's, there's regret on their side. And I think that, you know, when you stop and think about it, there's regret on your side. So cycles, this, this cycle just has to, it has to move in, in its own time frame. You know, and this is about family. You know, each scenario will be slightly different. You know, and your person's feeling guilty because if they're the one who's doing the service for this elderly person, sick person, you know, trying to take care of kids in a divorce, there is a lot of regret on their side too and a lot of frustration. So that, you know, could have led to this, you know, separation between the two of you, not only in distance, but in in heart. Okay. So this is about really taking this to the next level for your own healing and making that conscious decision like, yes, this sucks, but I'm going to focus on my own healing. I'm going to focus on why I'm frustrated or, you know, 
whoever, wh however this goes for you. But there's healing that needs to happen here. So if you're the one waiting, make that a priority. You know, and if you're the one who's helping someone, children, someone sick, dying, you know, do your healing while you're helping them as well, as much as you can. Because this is a great burden on everyone. You know, and there has to be a compromise. Okay? So, I hope that that was helpful. You know, because there will be a new spring. There will be a new start. Okay? I know this is hard right now, but, you know, stick to your guns. You know, both of you love each other. And just, this has to go through its cycle. All right? I hope that that was helpful, Pisces. And I wish you well. All right, I'll see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.